So I was wrong in my emergency video that Bitcoin would not break the 111 day moving average and this downward sloping trend. We have broken this. We are sitting at 19,373 right now on the breakout. I told people not to trade this breakout that it most likely get rejected. We did not get rejected. So if you if you traded the breakout, good for you. You made money. Um, Carl Dunlap made sure to uh, rub it in my face that I was wrong. So appreciate that, Carl. Um, <laughs> but again, I don't care. I, I wasn't short Bitcoin anyway. I was short Ethereum. Ethereum never broke the resistance level, or at least it hasn't yet. Will it? It might. It could. Um. So, I mean, I literally haven't lost a dime. So I don't really care. I am anticipating some kind of pullback here. I mean, what we'll most likely see is maybe a pullback down somewhere as far max to this downward trends right here. It could be less than that. could be, I doubt it would be more at this point. But um, if that does happen, we could see a slight retracement on ETH. And I could close out my short in the profit in the short term. I did expect this to be a longer term trade. It's going to be a short term trade. Most likely, I will close out in the profits regardless. Don't really care. With that being said, it's important to note what happened, why it happened, why I was wrong, and what's going to happen moving forward. Most likely, I'm right 90% of the time. All right, this is part of the 10%. That I was wrong. So we know that the CPI came in 0.1% lower, right? So the market is saying inflation's on a sustained downtrend. The Fed isn't going to raise interest rates 50 basis points at the next meeting at the beginning of February. They're only going to raise 25 basis points. And that's priced in now. Slow, slowing the rate of interest rate hikes is priced in and people believing that interest rates won't have to go as high for as long is now priced in. Foolish, foolishness or <laughs> foolishly enough, I would say. But you do have a case in the short term towards the beginning of February. So the next couple of weeks, we could see um, a continued slide in the dollar. I'm expecting the dollar to retest, come down and retest these levels right at the, the $1 mark. So I'm anticipating that it will come down another two cents. And if it does come down another two cents, you can expect that Bitcoin will continue to pump higher. Now, we did retest the top of the bull market support band, which we haven't done since March of 2022. Right back up here on the 300 week moving average. I do anticipate a small pullback here, but it looks like this could be sustainable at this point. I mean, we broke out, likely come back, retest the 111 day moving average, hold that as support. And then we could, we could push higher here, absolutely could, over the next couple of weeks. Given the falling um, dollar price, given the fact that inflation is coming down and people expect that the Fed will come in more dovish, but that's the problem here. As the dollar falls and people become more bullish, we could see you know, inflation come roaring back in commodities. You know, oil, gas, gold, all of these things could could run up massively. Um, if unemployment stays low, you can you can see that inflation come back right back, right? If the if the Fed doesn't stay the course, if they don't stay hawkish, inflation will come roaring back, and they'll have to raise rates even higher, and we could we could see more pain for longer. So I think most likely what we'll end up seeing in February is the Fed will come in and do 50, 50 basis points again, um, given the fact that the dollar coming down this much is going to be very inflationary. 
We're going to see commodities higher. We're going to see cryptos higher. And that's going to be a problem for the Fed. The Fed's not going to like seeing that. And they're going to want to come, you know, stop this. They're going to want to come in hawkish in February. At least it's what I'm expecting. Could be wrong. You know, I've been wrong before, right? So I am anticipating that this could continue until February 3rd. So if we look, so this is how long it could continue for out until February 3rd. You know, I, I am a bear right now. I, I, what I believe is going to happen is we'll most likely come back down, retest the, <clears throat> the 111 day moving average. Then we could go back up and kind of trade here and then go lower. You know, that's what I feel like is going to happen. But I'm a bear, right? The, the bull case would be that, and this, this could happen too, that we could come back down, test the 111 day, hold it as support and break right through the 20 week EMA, break right through the one, break right through this upper trend line. And at that point, the Fed would most likely come in and try to be hawkish and reverse this. And I think if the Fed did come in very hawkish, they would reverse it. But, you know, it's also possible that we just break right through this. I mean, that could happen too. It could also happen where the Fed doesn't come in hawkish enough and we just keep going. You know, that's absolutely possible. Um, and with that being said, if we don't see the pullback, if we do not see the pullback in Bitcoin, at the, these levels, at least in the short term, and we do break through this level, I will close out my ETH short and I won't be trading. It's too much volatility. You know, I missed the boat to go long as far as I'm concerned and shorting just becomes too risky at that point. Then it's just kind of sitting around and I probably won't open up a trade until the Fed meeting. I'll wait for the Fed meeting, wait for the Fed to say what they're going to do. They come out super hawkish. I'll go short again. Um, again, I don't think the bull runs back on quite yet. I think it's I think it's coming soon though. I think it's coming soon. I think people are just jumping the gun a little bit over exuberance in the market, like I said. But as of right now, I think short term we might see a little pullback. The RSI is at an eighty six. That's ridiculous. Um, I always at I'll use that pullback hopefully as an opportunity to exit uh, my short position on ETH and. The profits in the short term. Other than that, I think the next couple of weeks moving into February could be could be quite bullish. You know, if we keep seeing a slide in the dollar. Um, you can expect that cryptos and commodities will continue to rally. Um, and then expect the Fed to come in hawkish early February. But that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.